what is the low carbon diet uh, 30 days to lose 5000 pounds all about and uh, what is uh, social change uh, 2.0 I have the privilege of being uh, at Deepak Home Base in New York with uh, David Gershon, who is the author of both these books. So let's talk about, um, first of all, the low carbon diet, 30 days to losing 5,000 pounds. Uh, what's it about? Well, simply, it's a way to reduce your carbon footprint. And what we did is we identified all the parts of your lifestyle, from the food you eat, to the electricity you use in your house, to the gasoline you use to drive your car, everything that actually has a carbon footprint. And we put a number next to it, so you can actually identify how much the footprint is. And uh, we've learned how to build a behavior change model uh, over many years, a couple of decades now, that creates a, a recipe, literally a recipe, for how to take the action. So it's not just a checklist, it's an actual recipe. First you do this, then you do this, then you do this. And you have a carbon calculator that gives you a sense of what your current uh, weight is, if you will, in pounds. Most Americans are averaging about 55,000 pounds, and we have a scale of 1 to 10, uh, from carbon neutral to you know, 85 or 95,000 pounds or more. Uh, the sad thing is, although I wrote the book, um, my carbon footprint was uh, on, the, on the very, very high end because I travel so much. I suspect you have similar problems. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, there was a lot that I could do, even having read the book. And I do a lot in New York. I don't actually take a taxi cab. I use the subway. I walk as much as I can. I try and stay off uh, uh, meat diets, etc. So all of that, I think, at least makes me feel good. The point is, are we really going to change the world if we do it enough, if enough of us do it? Well, you have to start mm. at the base, mm. and the base is us. Mm. And what happens, and this is where the social change strategy comes in, is that as I commit to reducing my footprint, um, first of all, it's important to know where the carbon is coming from, which is that it's coming primarily from our cities, 70% of the footprint of the planet. So if you get enough people in a city, uh, you start to have an impact. And if you can get it to happen in one city, you can get it to happen in another city. So that's the core of our strategy. It's not an isolated program for an individual by itself, by him or herself, although that's the starting point. But after you start to reduce your footprint, uh, the next question is, what can I do to get the infrastructure in my city to support me? So I'm coming down to your office, and I see bike lanes, and I see this amazing uh, garden places where people can eat lunch and not have to travel all over the city. And, that's how it starts. But it starts ideally with people who have demand for it. So David, do we have time to reverse what's happening there? Do we have time? This is the ultimate risk? question is time. Because what we have is a ticking clock and we don't know. And a lot of people don't realize that we have a ticking clock, right? We have a tipping clock. I mean, the, the, the reality is that we can only go above two degrees. Uh, we can only get to two degrees according to all the scientific consensus. If we go above that, we get into a very destabilized climate. Even two degrees, it's a question mark. We're currently on a trajectory to get to two degrees and beyond. So something has to shift. And if we do, what will happen? Just uh, Fundamentally, the picture of what happens is that we have flooding, mm. serious flooding. Your coastal cities start to become inundated. Uh, the refugees, refugees, epidemics, diseases, violence, all of well, that. Everything that would be a dystopian vision of the future starts to happen. Um, so we would like to avoid that. That said, there's a second part of this process, which is building disaster resiliency. Mm -hmm. One way or another, we are going to have significant climate change. Do we get to a tipping point whereby we go over the, the top and we can't control it anymore? That's the big question. Will we have severe climate disruption over our lifetimes? Absolutely. So the question is not if, but how bad and how much time do we have to do an intervention? I'm speaking to David Gershon. We're talking about climate change. We're talking about the fact that uh, it could be too late uh, to reverse what's happened. We're saying that there will be some kind of catastrophes, that there could be uh, flooding, there could be climate refugees, violence, epidemics, and that we need to be, first of all, uh, aware of this. Secondly, 
to be prepared for it uh, and also thirdly to take start uh, taking measures to slow it down and to start reversing it. David Gershon is the author of two, he author of many books, but two very important books. Uh, the first is The Low Carbon Diet, uh, 30 Days to Losing 5,000 Pounds. And the second book is uh, Social Change 2.0, which really uh, basically says that we can effect social change through our collective intention, collective uh, awareness and collective desire to take action and through creating this kind of conversation also on social networks, creating uh, action plans to reverse uh, what seems to be an oncoming catastrophe.